The cell motor has been squealing for a while now and we're replacing it with the same exact one. For the make, model, size and other specs on it, there's a link in the description. After removing the screw holding the back cover of the motor, you now have access to the wire connection. Very important note, even though the timer is shut off, make sure your breaker is shut off as well. And then take extra caution by testing each line for power. Since these motors are identical, we snap the picture of the wire connection. This avoids second guessing when reconnecting to the new motor. Disconnect each wire including the ground. Now that the wires are all disconnected from the motor, we pull the wires out of the elbow. Just pull on the wire hose and at the same time guide the wires through the elbow to make sure the insulation is not damaged if they get snagged on the edges. It takes a little patience, that's all. Now the waterproof elbow fitting can easily be removed to reuse on the new motor. With a 916 socket, loosen the four bolts holding the motor to the pump. Keep in mind that these bolts will not separate the motor from the pump. You can actually leave these on and take them off later if you choose. You'll see what I mean after we take the pump cover off. There's four bolts holding the pump cover, two on top and two on the bottom. Using a flat screwdriver, carefully separate the cover from the pump just about 1 16th of an inch. There's a rubber seal around the inside that can get damaged if the screwdriver goes too deep. Then slowly shake the motor loose and let the water in the pump drain out. You can see the rubber seal I mentioned around the pump cover. And there's the shaft bolt holding the pump fan we spoke about earlier. There's also another seal on the fan neck here as well. Be careful not to damage it. Now we start taking the pump parts off that need to be transferred to the new motor. By putting a 9 16 wrench on the back end of this shaft will prevent it from spinning when we take the front bolt off. With a 15 millimeter socket we take that bolt off the tip of the shaft. Very important to remember it unbolts clockwise. It's threaded backwards. Before we take the fan pump screws off, remember the position of this fin on the pump fan. It needs to be at the same 11 o'clock position when reinstalling it. Now we take off the three screws holding the pump fan. Then holding the rear of the shaft with a 916 wrench again, Unscrew the inner piece of the pump fan counterclockwise. The only thing still holding this cover is that black seal. Don't try to pull it off with a plier or anything, but use the pump cover as a puller by lifting it away from the motor and the seal will slide right off. Careful not to damage it. Now we can start transferring all the parts to the new motor. We start with the pump cover. Look for the stamp on the inside that indicates the top and line it up on the motor. Insert the seal onto the shaft. Screw the inner pump fan onto the shaft turning it clockwise. To tighten it, we will hold the back of the motor shaft with a 916th wrench while tightening the inner fan by hand. Then screw in the bolt and we tighten it counterclockwise. While holding the back of the shaft again with the 9 16th wrench to keep it from spinning. Then we screw in the outer pump fan. Positioning the fin we showed earlier at the 11 o'clock position. Another thing worth mentioning, this fin in which is positioned at the 11 o'clock as you face it, matches the slot here in the pump. Before we insert it into the pump, we loop all the seals to assure it, it lines in smooth and not damage them. 
gently insert it into the pump housing and make sure it lines up. Then start screwing the 8 bolts, 4 go on the back of the pump housing into the pump cover and the other 4 go to the motor into the front of the pump cover. And then we tighten them. Now we need to insert the three wires through the waterproof elbow before we can connect each one. Inserting one at a time makes it much easier. Connect each wire, same as the old motor. Set the cover in place and tighten the screw. And to prime the system, just add some water to the basket housing, tighten the cover back on, and turn on the pump. To get air pockets out of the system, open the valve on top of the filter. If the water flows smoothly with no air pockets, you're done. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you along the way. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. See the description for links of tools and materials used in this video. And you all have a great day.